Okay. Uh, we'll start with the Ceci. Um, so nothing. <laughs> she's fantastic, and she's uh, been doing great for us, as you guys all know. Um, we have to keep the players with with experience, with playing time, with uh, moments on the pitch to, to gain confidence. And my job as a coach is to make sure that uh, we rotate the squad because we all, we all understand that in big moments, sometimes players are not unable to play, whether it's injuries or, or, or other things. Uh, and we need a full squad ready, and that includes Ofe. And if I was uh, honest uh, with myself, I probably should have done a little bit more last season. In the event we needed her in big moments, she was a little bit more confident. So it's a player management decision. Nothing else, not a performance decision. Um, when it comes to women's trainers around the world, and, and you know, uh, you want to start, sorry. Yeah. Bueno, primero voy a traducir la primera respuesta. Eh, empezamos con lo de Ceci, no, no tiene nada, está muy bien. Solo que tenemos que mantener a las jugadoras con minutos para ganar confianza y mi trabajo como entrenadora es rotar a las jugadoras y entendemos que a veces en ciertos momentos importantes de, del torneo puede haber lesiones, puede haber algo que evite que puedan jugar y que debió haber hecho más con Ofe la última temporada, por si pasaba algo, y que en realidad es más un manejo de jugadoras y asegurarnos de que tengan minutos todas. Yeah, and when it comes to women's coaches around the world, I mean, I, I feel very confidently to say that I think coaching is about people. And I think the better that you are at managing people, the better you are as a coach. And I don't, I don't think that really has a lot to do with gender. What I do find is that there's a closed mindset around women coaches in certain countries, and that's cultural and societal. Uh, and I think those things need to change before more women are given more chances. Um, and, you know, I feel very lucky being from Canada and given an opportunity here in Mexico. Uh, I'm very grateful every day that you have a league. We don't. Uh, that's what I had to come here to coach and to develop myself and gain my own confidence. And uh, for that, I'm forever grateful. But I don't really see my success as because I'm a woman or something that, that doesn't really factor into my decision are my um, confidence. It's really about me as a person growing in the craft, uh, having the attributes and skills to want to get better every day, basically. <laughs> it's a bit much, sorry. Eh, bueno, pues sobre las mujeres entrenadoras, en, entrenar es sobre las personas. Eh, un entrenador es bueno cuando sabes manejar a las personas y no tiene nada que ver con el género eso. Hay que cambiar el estereotipo. Eh, agradece ser de Canadá y estar en México porque aquí hay liga y en Canadá no hay. Para ella todo es sobre ganar esa confianza, pero no cree que sus atributos tienen que ver por ser mujer. No es un factor en, en, en el confiar en sí misma, sino que el atributo que hace que pueda ser exitosa es que quiere ser mejor todos los días. Yeah, I think uh, when we look at where we are in the season, we're on uh, day number two, round number two of the season, we, we have some mentality work. To, to focus on. I think there's something around, I don't think they intentionally came in, but also Pumas came out uh, in a very different fashion as well. So, you know, that time that we need to react between the opposition doing something and us, and we need to be able to take control of our own destiny. So that's something that's going to be a theme. I wasn't happy uh, at all with the second half. I made the players very clear on that, that you have a standard to uphold. I don't care who is on the other side of the pitch. This is about us in our journey and how your quality and, you know, these things matter. So you can't come to me about playing time and other things. You have to perform every chance you get. Um, I do appreciate their effort, though. I think the effort was there, but the mechanisms, the tactics, they weren't working in the second half. And credit to Pumas. They did such a good job to come out with the right energy. And that's team spirit. And I think that was excellent. Uh, Ribeiro getting her first touch, her first goal. Uh, she's back. There you go. So we know about her. And uh, we learned a lesson today. Eh, cuando nos fijamos, estamos en la ronda 2, es apenas la jornada 2 y tenemos que trabajar en la parte mental. Eh, en el segundo tiempo, Pumas vino diferente y nosotros tenemos que tener ese tiempo de re reacción cuando la oposición está haciendo algo diferente. Es tomar control sobre nuestro propio destino. Eh, y se lo hice saber a, a las jugadoras, que no, no importa contra quién estemos jugando, tiene que ser sobre nosotros y ese tiempo de reacción y cómo reaccionamos contra la rival, Tienes que saber eh, dar lo mejor en cada oportunidad que tienes y siempre aprecio el esfuerzo de mi equipo, nunca tengo duda de que dan el mejor esfuerzo y darle el crédito a Pumas porque dieron, hicieron una gran labor salir en ese segundo tiempo con el, la energía de equipo correcta y Rivero pues con su primer toque meter gol y definitivamente hoy aprendimos una lección.